Hello and welcome to my channel. Welcome if you are new. My name is Trix and I make content about spirituality, philosophy, creative arts and filmmaking and stuff like that. And in today's uh, video I wanted to talk about how I make my witchcraft practice uh, the way I want it to be. And I want to talk about... Um, yeah how to make it cozy, how to make it yours. I've written some notes on my computer, so I'm going to look that way um, sometimes in the video, so yeah. The first thing, uh, the first advice I would have to make witchcraft practice your own is to not plan too much, but rather do things based on your energy levels and on uh, when you feel like it, rather than the moon cycle. I know this is controversial, but you shouldn't um, plan everything by the moon cycle or by the sabbats. Of course you can. Of course you should think about it a little bit. But I would rather base things on my energy levels than on um, on anything else. Because you never know when you have the energy or if you are going to be ill or something like that. It not, I, you know, on this channel I have talked a lot about um, having illness and and the thing is that I can't schedule my illness and uh, that's that. So I would rather give the advice to even plan by your mood or by your energy levels. That will make your witchcraft practice so much more so much more beneficial, I think. I decided to um skip the glasses while I was filming because I was uh, I was looking at the footage uh, between clips and the light is it's a big glare in my glasses I noticed so yeah uh, the other advice I would give you is don't compare yourself to others I know this is kind of cliche maybe but don't compare yourself to others and how much magic they do, or how many rituals they did that month, or spells and stuff like that. I would not say compare to anyone, not even to your past self, or to your future self, or anything like that. Just do when you feel like you want to do it. And even little things are magic, uh, because you probably do quite enough even when you don't think you do the third thing i want to talk about is that read as much as you can or if you have trouble reading maybe listen to audiobooks or youtube videos or doing courses online that are video based and uh, doing research in any way you can because research counts as doing magic in my opinion uh, knowledge can't be too much you can't know too much and do too little that's not possible i mean yeah that that maybe is possible but sometimes we need to be aware of the things we do i'm right now very much in a research kind of period and i um i don't I do my daily practice, which includes meditation, tarot, oracle cards, crystals, praying, Bible studying, and stuff like that. Uh, but it was a time ago I actually did a proper ritual or spell. And I'm fine with that. I mean, I'm now very much in a research period of my life. Uh, the fourth thing I want to say is that you need to accept that sometimes you do more um, re research and reading more 
than doing actual spells and rituals. And that's, I think, is a big thing with contentment in magical pra- practice that go with the flow and don't think so much about how ma- many rituals you do or how much spells you do. Or I just think you can take it easy with most things. And uh, right now I feel like that's the way it should be in my life. Because things doesn't have to be complicated to count as spells or rituals as well. And uh, find the things you enjoy. Um, and do that instead of branching out if you don't feel like it right now. A daily practice like doing tarot and oracle cards and meditations and stuff like that. Like I said, that's valid and it helps your magic in the long run just as much as any uh, ritual or spell do. Uh, it's better to do many small things than fewer large th- uh, larger things, I I think at least. The last thing I want to say is don't pressure yourself. Sometimes scheduling things can make it boring. And I don't think that a boring practice will benefit you at all. So if you enjoy scheduling things, but sometimes the act of scheduling and structuring things can be fun. I like uh, to plan my life, but... I don't know how I'm going to feel tomorrow. So sometimes the act of planning can be much, much, much more fun than actually doing what you're planning to do. And I think if you want to do an outline, go for it. I do that sometimes. But if you have an urge to really do magic then do it because you will if you're meant to do magic you will have that urge now and then that's what happens to me i have the urge to do something magical and then i do it and if i don't i don't do it (laughs) so if you're meant to be a witch or magical practitioner then you will have urges sometimes and uh, go with them instead of planning that was it for today And I hope you maybe want to subscribe and leave a comment in the comment section. And I hope you enjoyed this video and I see you in my next video. Bye.